In this Excel video, I will teach you hot Excel keyboard shortcuts, way beyond the basics. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. Here I am in Excel in a spreadsheet all about the 50 United States of America. And we're going to begin with navigation shortcuts. This spreadsheet has 50 records, in this case, the 50 states. And I may get tired of browsing up and down in this spreadsheet, so I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts to do that. Now, besides the inconvenience of it, any time you take your hands off the keyboard to use the mouse, for example, to use this scroll bar here at the right, you've lost some efficiency. Keeping your hands on the keyboard is the best thing you can do for efficiency in Excel. So the first keyboard shortcut I want you to learn is Control Arrow Keys. And each of the arrow keys will take you to a different part of your Excel data. So Control Down Arrow will take you to the very bottom most edge of your Excel data. Control Up Arrow takes you to the top edge. Control Left Arrow to the far left. Control Right Arrow to the far right. So very quickly you could combine these and for example do control down arrow, control left arrow, and you've got the bottom left corner of your data. Control right arrow, control up arrow takes you to the upper right corner of your data. Let's move on to our second hot Excel keyboard shortcut and that is control home or end. If you want to navigate to the bottom right corner of your data without using just the arrow keys, you would hold control and tap the end button. Now on my laptop, in order to tap end, I have to hold the function key as well. So for me, it's control, function, and then the right arrow. That's how I tap end. But if you have a full keyboard to work with, not just a small laptop keyboard, just hold control, find the end button, and tap it. And that will take you to the bottom right corner of your data. Similarly, the control home keyboard shortcut takes you to the top left corner of your data. So cell A1. And again, on my laptop keyboard that's extra small, I have to hold control, hold function, and find the left arrow key, which is my home key. All right, let's move on to our third hot Excel keyboard shortcut, and it's another navigation shortcut, and that is control G. If you hold control and tap G, you get the go to dialog box. And this dialog box helps you to very quickly jump to a specific cell. So for example, if I need to get to cell JJ579, let's say I know that there's key information at that specific cell, I just type it in, tap OK, and I'm taken to JJ579. If I hold Control and tap G again, I can type in another cell reference, maybe cell U9000, tap enter, and I'm taken there. And one more time, control G here, this time I'll type A1, tap enter, and I'm taken back to cell A1. Let's move on to hot keyboard shortcut number four, which is a formatting shortcut. Let's say I want to format all of the states similarly. I can click here on column A, and the entire column is highlighted, and then I'll hold the control key and tap the number one on the keyboard, and the format cells dialog box opens up. I can format that entire range of cells as text. In this case, that's not really necessary. If they were numbers, I could format them as currency, putting a dollar sign at the beginning. But again, in this case, that's not applicable or necessary. Instead, I'm gonna jump over here to one of these other tabs, how about the font tab? And I'll apply a bold formatting to that entire range of cells. But again, the keyboard shortcut is Control-1, and it brings up the Format Cells dialog box. There are lots of other formatting options that I can apply to that range of cells. Next, let's look at hot Excel keyboard shortcut number five, and that is Alt-Enter. It's another formatting shortcut. And as an example, I'm gonna go down here to New York City, in column D, and let's say I need this column to be a very specific width. I want it to be exactly this wide. The only problem is New York City is not fitting within that width that I've specified. There are a couple of things I could do. I could use the Home tab and Font Group to change the font size just for New York City. That way it could fit within the specified width, but there is another option. As I'm typing New York City, or after the fact, either way, I could hold the Alt key and tap Enter on the keyboard, 
and it will insert a line break at exactly that point. Now when I tap enter on the keyboard, you can see what happens. New York City has a line break that specifies that at this point, I want the rest of the text in this cell to show up beneath the first line. Great, on to shortcut number six, and that is control shift and then either dollar sign, exclamation point, or percentage. Now before I use this keyboard shortcut, I need to select something. And that's true of most of the keyboard shortcuts that I'm sharing in this video. So I'm going to select all of column E by clicking on E here at the top. The entire column is highlighted. Let's say I want to turn these numbers into currency. So they're actually population numbers. But by selecting column E, I can then hold the control key, hold the shift key, and then tap the number four, which is the dollar sign symbol. As soon as I do that, it turns the numbers in the range of cells I selected into currency. $7 million in this case. In this case, $1,900,000. Now I'm gonna select column E again to show the next example. I could hold Control, hold Shift, tap the exclamation point, which is number one on my keyboard, and that changes the formatting into number formatting. But I do have the commas here and here that help me know that this is 10 million, or in this case, 3 million, etc. Clicking back on column E to highlight the entire column, I have one more example, control shift percentage, which is number five on my keyboard. That changes the formatting for the selected range into percentages. In this case, with the spreadsheet that I'm working on, dealing with population in this column, the formatting I actually do want is number formatting. So I'll hold control, hold shift, tap the number one, and that's now almost perfect for what I want. The one change I want to make is I don't need the decimal and the two zeros at the end. So I'll go here to the Home tab, look in the Number group, and I'll use this button here to reduce the decimals. One decimal, and if I click it again, no decimals. Let's move on now to keyboard shortcut number seven, which is Control D. And Control D is a data manipulation shortcut. What it does is it takes whatever is above the selected cell or range and then fills it down. So for example, let's say that the United States of America decides to make all of the states exactly the same square miles in area. They're all going to have the same square miles as Alabama. If I click here on cell F3 and hold control and tap D, look what happens. The information that's in the cell above the selected cell gets filled down. Now what if I click and drag to highlight not just F3, but I'm going to drag all the way down to the last state in the United States, so Wyoming here. With that entire range selected, if I hold control and tap D, the information in the cell above the selected range gets filled all the way down. Similarly, if I select a cell to the right of the data that I want to fill, I can hold Control and tap R, and the information will be filled to the right. Okay, it's time now for Hot Excel Keyboard Shortcut Control Spacebar. And this is a selection and editing shortcut. Let's say I decide I don't want the states to all be bolded. I can click on any one of those states, hold Control and tap Spacebar, and the entire column is highlighted. And then I can go to the Home tab, in the font group and click on bold to toggle bold off. Then if I want to, I can click on A1 and put it back on for the word state. Okay, it's time now for hot Excel keyboard shortcut, shift spacebar. If you click on a cell and then hold shift and tap spacebar, it highlights the entire row that that cell is in. Now that I've done that, I could make some changes to everything in that row. For example, on the Home tab, in the Font group, I could italicize the entire row. Moving on to shortcut Control shift plus Let's say that as I'm building this spreadsheet, maybe I forget the state of Florida. And then later I realize this and I need to add Florida back in. I could just click here on row number 10 to highlight that entire row and then hold Control, hold Shift and tap the plus sign and an entire new row is added into my spreadsheet above the Georgia row. And what about columns? If I click here on column C, 
I could hold Control, hold Shift, and tap Plus to add a new column. Maybe I could put in the year that each state became a state. It would be easy to add that information into the data because I used Control, Shift, Plus. Now this also works with individual cells, but you need to be careful. For example, if I click on cell A5, Arkansas, hold Control, hold Shift, and tap Plus, it lets me shift the cells to the right or down, or I could insert an entire row or column. If I just shift cells down, look what happens. Arkansas moves down, but the rest of the data that belongs with Arkansas does not move down. So just be careful if you only select one cell or two cells instead of a whole row or column. Let's move on to keyboard shortcut, which is Control minus. If I decide I want to get rid of this row that I've added in, I can hold Control, tap minus, and it disappears. What about not a whole row, but an individual cell or a range of cells? You can just click on a cell or a range of cells, hold Control, tap minus, and then you would need to decide what to do. I'll just shift cells up, click OK, and it's gone. I can do the same thing with columns. Select a column, Control minus, it's gone. So those are hot Excel keyboard shortcuts to help you use this fantastic software more effectively and efficiently. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. If you'd like to learn more about Excel in great depth and with a lot of clarity, please watch my masterpiece Excel video, Excel for Beginners, the complete course. This in-depth video will teach you everything you need to know to use Microsoft Excel effectively.